The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. One Inu Tabi here. Today we're going to take a look at Transformers the Movie Studio Series 86, Dinobot Slug or Slag, and Daniel Witwicky. Picked this up at a Walmart uh, probably about maybe a week or so ago. Just getting around to getting it unboxed. Very excited because they have done a fantastic job with Studio Series. And the previous Dinobot Grimlock was probably one of the best bots that I've seen in a long time. They finally got the Dinobot scaled up to the big size they should be. They look great. They, uh, you know, it's just a total package. They've done a fantastic job. The, the little accessory figures, I'm not really sold on them. Um, the last one was Wheelie, and I had to get an upgrade kit from Firetox Designs to actually make him a better character. So I know uh, what the DNA is doing a kit too. So I may check that one out. But today we're going to unbox this figure, uh, take a look at the packaging, take a look at the figure itself, transform it, all that good stuff. So real quick before we get involved in that. Uh, at the beginning of this video, there's a graphic showing the P.O. box. If you're interested in sending anything to the channel, please do. Uh, also, check out the other reject guns. That's Kato's Collection, Larkin's Lair, and Sardar Noon Spot 82. Great guys. Uh, they have great content. And real quick, if you will, subscribe to my channel. That will help me out. I'm trying to get uh, monetized. I'm trying to get to maybe 1250 before the end of the year. I'm getting real close. So 1145, I think, uh, a few minutes ago when I checked. So... Getting real close. I appreciate all the help. So thank you for watching. All right, let's get started with the packaging. All right, so this is a big box. So it's kind of hard to get it in the, the camera and make it make sense. But Studio Series 86, we've got uh, Daniel. Actually got the little cartoon face in there, uh, but you don't see it here. So that's interesting. Sitting on top of Slug. I, sl I don't, I'm going to call him Slag because Slug just is weird. But anyway. Uh, so, Transformers movie, we've got the graphic here. You can see it really well right there. Then on the back, 32 steps. See, he comes with a weapon. Uh, this looks really nice. Uh, it comes with the background display. Big screen inspired, scale detail, and backdrop. Uh, Ocarina of Justice is the background. So, I think that's the one where he stomps on the uh, Quintesson. Says, excuse me. Right? Okay. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, that's the packaging. Uh, pretty much it right there. Let's get it out and take a look at it. All right. It comes with this background. That's what you get. I don't use these things, but like I mentioned, I think these, if I could get the files, the JPEGs, I could make some backgrounds like I did with this. I think that would look pretty good. But yeah, I don't use these, but it's cool they include it. I'm not sure I've ever seen anybody actually use that. Put that in the comments. Do you use these backgrounds? Uh, we got the directions here. I think it said 32 steps. Nothing looks crazy. I'm just look at it real quick before I go through and start transforming. Uh, one thing I do on this channel, if I haven't mentioned, is I go through and the, the transformation that you see is like me reading the directions and doing it on video. I don't practice multiple times. Because I like to give the impression out of the box what the transformation is all about. So that's the way I do it. Comes with a weapon. Um, it's kind of a light tan color. Uh, I guess it's blast. I don't I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, you can put a blast effect on there. There's not much space here to hold it, but you can do that. So that's an option. It looks like it's a gray plastic just painted like with this tan. Uh, it's not much of a peg, but the details are nice. Got a little sight in there for scope, so that looks cool. And then here we go with uh, Daniel. This is Daniel, right? I don't know. Um, so there's nothing but a plain white piece. There's no head. So this is on a ball joint. Uh, it's hollow as I don't know what. There's some little paint. There's yellow here. Uh, hands are painted like a, a gray. Uh, legs on the ball joint, super hollow. I guess this is going to sit on his back, peg in like Grimlock. And I know Fire Top, there's a peg right there, so he probably sits in it like that. 
So I'm sure Toy Hacks uh, is doing a kit. I got to check that out. Uh, maybe they actually put a face on there. So that would be cool if they did that. Uh, you know, could they do without these? Yeah, I kind of like that they include them. I wish they would articulate the legs though. Put a knee joint in there. Uh, I don't. Even, you don't even have to do anything else. But really, you could have. Yeah, I mean, they could have done you know something better with the knee joint here. Bend it. You know, put a knee joint or do the head. Uh, fix that. That's something I would like to see. Other than just like this fix, because basically you're leaving it so the figure has to sit on the the figure's back. So I, he'll just sit on the shelf right now until I get a, a kit. Uh, to put some actual knees on this guy, but it'll look good with the you know, other 86 bots once that happens. And I think Firetox is working on that. So that's one thing we could look forward to. And then figure itself. Uh, one thing I will say when I, God, he's super big. Uh, there he is. I might have to adjust the camera. He's very large. Very large. Uh, when I pulled him out of the packaging, one of the horns popped out and one of the back uh, panels popped out out of the plastic. So uh, they got them wedged in there. Just be careful when you're unboxing it. So, uh, yeah, I might have to adjust this camera. I didn't realize how freaking big this guy is. Let's see if we can do it out. There we go. Some nice detail here. Uh, a lot of detail, actually. I'm going to bring in Optimus Prime and just get a comparison here from size so you can see. All right, there is Earthrise Optimus Prime beside Slag, and you see quite a difference. Big bot, but that's that's exactly what you want. I mean, you want Dinobots that are large. They were bigger than the rest of the Autobots, so this is definitely the way you want to go. Fantastic size and scale. I think they've done an excellent job in that regard. So let's take a look at the figure. Uh, the Articulation and the detail in the paint. All right, I zoomed the camera out a little bit so we can take a look at it. Heads on the ball joint. This whole panel rotates back, so you can do that. Uh, it'll spin side to side. This arm here will go all the way out to there. It's on a ratchet, which is nice. So it'll rotate around. You can, because this back panel piece is going to be in the way, but you can kind of spin it out. And rotate it around. Man, that's that's a ratchet right there. We've got a rotation above the elbow. We've got way more than 90 on the elbow bend. The hand is fixed, but it will rotate. No gaps here, so that's always a good thing. Uh, we've got the tail piece here. You can rotate at the waist, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Very tight. Uh, this... Uh, no ab crunch or anything like that. Let's see. Leg will go out to here. Leg will go on the ratchet all the way out to there and hold tight. Ratchet all the way to the back. Very nice. Got knee bend ratcheted on the knee. That's probably about 90 there. Uh, we got rotation right here below the hip joint. So that will rotate all the way around. And we've got ankle rocker. Uh, we don't have a toe. Uh, but man, the ratchet sound good. So that's all that's always a good, good sign for a nice ratchet figure. Head sculpt looks really good. They did a good job with this, so very impressive. Like I said, the hand rotates. You can plug in his weapon there. Like that. And he'll hold it. And that looks good. Um, I'm not sure if this guy is supposed to have a sword. Can't remember the original. Uh, if he does, it'd be nice if they included that. But overall, I'm fine with accessories. Got some nice detail here on the knees with screen and blue. The gold looks really, really nice. Autobot symbol's fantastic, as large as it is. Tons of detail and molded in here, just all over the bot from the joints here. Uh, we'll go over. Um, these parts in dinosaur mode. The back of them, you got a lot of kibble. You can fold this around uh, the tail. You can adjust it out of your way, however you want to do it. Uh, that gold looks really nice. Here's the back of him. No hollow pieces. All this looks nice. So, you know, it's always a big complaint of mine. It's a lot of hollowness in some of these figures, but Studio Series seems to 
get away from that for the most part. So I think they've done a, a real nice job in this figure. And glad to have him in the line. I'm not sure what the next Dinobot is. I wish it was Swoop. Swoop is my favorite Dinobot. But uh, I've heard that it's like sludge. So yeah, that's unfortunate. But I'm just wondering who's going to be the accessory figures. We've got Wheelie and Daniel. So who else will they do? Spike? Who's Daniel? I keep forgetting. I think it's Daniel. Daniel. Yeah. Will it be Spike or Grandpa Spark Plug or <laughs> who else? Who else can they include? You know who I'd like to see? Circuit Breaker. That's who they should do. That should who that should who come with uh Starscream. Circuit Breaker. That'd be awesome. Just a little nod. I know it's not in the movie, but yeah, so the back kibbles, you know, it is what it is, but I think you could tighten that up and have a nice spot. It's really good. They do a fantastic job with it. So if you haven't picked this guy up, please do. It's a really a great add-on to your collection. And you gotta have all the dinobots, right? All right, so let's go through and transform him into dinosaur mode. All right, so first of all, I'm going to take the tail and kind of extend all this out and take this piece right here like this and basically just fully extend it, really. Uh, there's notches here that are going to tab into the back of his piece right there and then take this tail and just fold up. Right here like this right now. I have to tab in there. Alright. So what we want to do next is take the heels and fold down like this. Alright. Next step we're going to take this piece here and fold up. Do it on both sides. Then you're going to take this piece here, just kind of spin it out to the side. Take this one, just kind of spin it out to the side and then close it back down and it'll tab into that slot right there. So you can see how this is kind of coming together right there. All right, go ahead and fold the feet up like that. Take and rotate at the waist, 180. Flip it around. You can, kind of, can sort of see how this is going to go. Then you're going to take this leg and bring up and then bring this piece down like that. See how that's going? Do the same thing on the other side. You want that leg to extend up. You can sort of see how this is all going to come together, but that's going to be the back of slag. See? It's looking good already. All right. Next up, flip it around. And just kind of, I'm going to just move this out of the way. I had this tab in, but we'll come back. You just want to get that leg so it's straight. And if you look here, there's a groove on the side of this leg. You're going to bring that leg up and... Have that piece notch in there and then bring it up on the other side. And it'll tab in there. Oh, I'm supposed to tab. You'll get it. And then once you do that, it keeps popping out. Come on. Then you're gonna bring the tail in between the two and tab that in. So let me tighten this up. All right, so what's gonna happen is, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record this on camera, but there's a tab here. It goes in between the tail section. It's kind of, kind of a pain to get this to, because you're trying to fumble two or three things together, get this to go down, get the tail to go in between, and get this to tab in. I, I'm not sure if their steps actually make a little, you know, all the sense in the world. So I'm gonna do this off camera, but you sort of get the sense of where we're going here. So uh, basically, what you're gonna do at this point, once you get the tail done, we're gonna Get the side pieces in, fold in the hand and the leg, but let me work on that right now. It's a little bit frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. I, I almost feel like you shouldn't tab in these until you get the tail in because it's keeping these two pieces fixed. So I'm not sure if that's the best instruction, but. 
Alright, I finally got it in. Uh, so at the bottom here, there's two notches. So these also tab in. Uh, this still is not 100%. You see that gap there? There we go. It, it's, every time I, <laughs> it's frustrating, man. Cause every time I pop something in, something else pops loose. I don't, it's very, a little irritating here. So I'm gonna have to work on it. Didn't know it was gonna be quite so difficult to get this thing to line up. See how that's, I guess I'll come back to it. Anyway, you wanna take the hands and rotate the hands uh, around 180. And then they're gonna, let's see, they're gonna fold in like that. Spin that in like that and fold those in. Next thing you wanna do is fold this piece back a little bit and take the center piece, fold this down. Uh, the head's gonna collapse downwards like that. And then you're gonna bring Slag's jaw up, tap that in. Then we're gonna bring, let's see, I think we bring these pieces inwards. Well, let's see. I mean, so I, I can sort of see the problem down here because you see how that's kind of gapped. It's got, see it? Yeah, you can see, I, I see the issue now. So I got this side even, but this side is not. So let me let me fix that before we proceed. All right, I've become extremely frustrated with this thing. The bottom, these feet just keep popping out. It's very irritating. So let's just proceed with this at this point. This is what irritates me sometimes, Transformers. I mean, doing all the steps and everything just keeps popping out here on these legs. And I am just getting very frustrated with this thing. So I probably won't keep this in Dino, Dinobot mode. Uh, you want to take the this piece here. And it's, it's on a hinge, so you're gonna just kind of fold it in like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Uh, this piece folds in like that, and then this closes up. I'm 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 getting <laughs> I'm getting irritated. I'm getting irritated where I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, so this is this is. After me screaming at this thing for a minute or two, uh, we're there. So that's what that looks like. Um, his mouth will open, I guess. And we got a pig in there. It looks like for maybe a blast effect or something. Okay. Um, and so the feet here will fold out like that. He's got those so you can stand. And then I got to get this whole back piece together. And then the tail is actually going to plug in here and form the tail piece. Let me work on this thing and see if I can get this to tab together. Side piece is going to fold in together too. So let me try to straighten this up and we'll come back. All right. So I'm not going to even like blow on this thing because it might... Uh, snap apart. I don't. The rear of mine is uh, some issue. So these panel pieces, see, it's not. I and I've been working on this thing, but it just does not want to fit together here on the top. And at this point, I'm well beyond giving a crap about it right now. So you're gonna just plug the in here to form the tail. You can plug a blast effect into the mouth. So overall, I think it's it's fine. Uh, mine is probably different than most because I'm having an issue with mine. The eyes look good. The gold paint is fantastic. Uh, let's see. This should tab together a little bit better than that. Autobot symbol looks good. The hollowness on the horns is kind of ridiculous. Uh, like I said, one of mine had already popped off. So not a fan of that. But yeah, you can see that gap there. And I have... I have been working on this thing and the tolerance is just something's not right. Uh, it's just a hair off. And if, cause if I snap this in, the tail pops out. So 
something's just not perfect on mine. But got it together for what it is. The hollowness on the back of the legs is that's a little all point with these feet. Uh, the front feet are so good. The laser rocket pods right there look nice. I think there's some very good positives about it. Just the transformation of mine was not. So, you know, I still say pick this figure up because you definitely got to add to your Dinobots. But man, oh man, uh, I'm scared to mess with it too much with all these panels holding it. And you see this one's not even tabbed in because if I push down on this section right here, uh, the tail section is going to pop out. So, and I've been working on it. So, I, I it just is what it is sometimes. Things just don't work out exactly right on some figures, but I still think if you see this guy in the store, pick it up. He's definitely a solid figure. Robot mode is awesome. Dinosaur mode, if you can get it together, uh, if you're not having the issues I'm having, I think it's fine. It's got some uh, ports on here, so you can plug weapons in there too, so that's cool. And he's solid. He's big, so definitely a great bot. Nice bot to have to your collection. So pick him up if you can find him. That's slag. Or slug, whatever you want to call them. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, can't say the transformation was fun for me. It was not. Uh, for the most part, it was okay, but when you get to this whole back piece of plugging the tail in, not fun, not fun at all. But overall, if I had to give it a score, I'd probably give it an eight. Uh, overall, as a bot, I think Grimlock was much better in that regard. Uh, but it's like, not bad. Just. Some things are minor, I think. I just don't understand this right here. You went through the trouble of doing three quarters of it, but you left out this little section. I don't understand it. But sometimes you just don't know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for checking out the channel. Like I said, uh, subscribe to the other Rejecticons. That's Kato's Collection, Lorca's Lair, and Sardar Noon Spy 82. Great guys. Check those guys out. Um... Stay tuned for more videos. I'm hopefully going to have some more third-party stuff coming up along with uh, maybe some Masterpiece stuff. So stay tuned. More coming. Thanks for watching.